I'm your host, Dr. Thompson Hack. In this show, I'm going to tell you all different kinds of ways that you can improve your daily life using science. I know what you're probably thinking right now. <laughs> Thompson, science, snore. Well, let me tell you something right now. Science is really cool. We're going to talk about salt. Salt. We use it for lots of different things, usually things that we eat, like eggs. Sometimes we use it for things we don't eat. Whatever you use it for, I'm sure there's been a time where you thought, I wish I had just a little bit more salt. If only I could make my own. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do today. Remember, all of my science experiments, you can do at home. This isn't one of those shows where you see something cool and you can't do it because your mom will get mad at you. You can do all of them by yourself. Just remember, keep safety in mind. We're gonna go over to Scott the Safety Sparrow. He's gonna tell us everything we need for this experiment. What do you have for us, Scott? Cover your face! I'm already doing that. Looks like we're good to go. So everything we're gonna need for this experiment is right here. We need a bowl. A spoon, this one has holes in it, and some salt water. I got this from the ocean. It's really close to my house. We're going to taste it to make sure that there's salt in it. There's salt in it. It tastes really bad. <coughs> all we need to do for this experiment is simple. We just have to get all the water out of the way so we can get to the salt. So we need to stir it up a little bit and get all that sediment and sand mixed up in there so we can start to pour it out into our bowl. All right. Just kind of just really, just really get it out there. Just get it out. Just any solids, just get them out of there so nothing but salt is left. And all that should be left stuck on the side of the glass is salt. Let's give it a taste here. That's some salt. Put that on my eggs, please. Isn't that something? Let's get to some viewer emails. David in Minnesota asks, Why are tennis balls fuzzy? Tennis balls are fuzzy because it makes them go faster. It's really as simple as that. Wendy from Florida asks, Can I build a robotic exoskeleton to fly to school with? Absolutely! Many famous scientists have done that. It's really just a matter of finding the right pieces. Neville from Alaska says, Why don't elephants ever forget? Some elephants do forget. Remember that. That's all the time we have for this episode. Stop by my science lab again soon to learn more amazing science tricks. Things that'll make you say, isn't that something? <laughs>